guys is happening come on in this video we're gonna be building our own cthulhu and pulling off a really sweet otk in demon hunter but not the kind that you'd expect so using the new flight master dungar card we're gonna be using this in conjunction with the imprisoned antan for our otk so the combo what we want to do is want to be playing this on like turn three and then play the antan on turn six and then they wake up together for a total of 22 damage and we can get even more damage with this otk by playing the flight master dungar on turn seven playing both imprisoned antans on turn 10 by discounting one of them with the Raging Fell Screamer. So that way everything wakes up on turn 12 for a total of 32 damage. And we can get even more damage with this if we're getting super greedy here by playing the Zyth Incredible to copy two Dungars. So we play two Dungars on turn seven, two Antans on turn 10. So on turn 12, when they all wake up, that's a total of 44 damage. That's even better than Cthulhu. We are using the Death Rattle package around this just because the death rattle package is so powerful we pretty much have to use it in every single demon hunter deck because it's just that good but yeah this wampo combo is pretty hard to pull off but oh man was it satisfying when it worked i hope you guys enjoy this deck as much as i have if you do then let me know by leaving a like down below that really does help me out a lot with the youtube algorithm and this deck like every other deck that you see on this channel is created by myself and i have vowed never to net deck so if you guys want to see the most creative unique off meta decks on youtube that you can't see anywhere else then subscribe it's free and you can always change your mind later but let's hop into the action stay funky all right this is actually kind of a good hand here kind of a good hand i think i'm gonna keep it all like tusk piercer in one coin out like either an ectoplasm or a death head cultist like this will move all the way to, to the left side uh. yo big boy yo what's up big boy good evening good evening how you doing yo good to see ya um, I think I probably just like double tap this over a couple turns, right? Oh, we got him good. Ooh, the razor bore. We don't even need to coin yet. Okay, wow. Good start here. But yeah, it's going well, big boy. How are you doing today on this fine, lovely Tuesday? Even Warlock and Shaman have good AoE against token, right? Yes, they do. Yep, and Priest as well. Yep. Actually, I don't even care. I kind of wanted to pull maybe two of these. I want to play two of these Devouring Ectoplasms this turn. So let's do this first. Let's even get a Devouring Ectoplasm. Nope. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I might throw some bananas at you. <laughs> oh, please, not that. <laughs> Anything but bananas. Chaos Nova? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, This is actually looking pretty good. Yeah, I like this. Okay, next turn we can coin out a Skull of Gul'dan. Um, we could even use Zai to copy the Inquisitors if we really want to. But yeah, I mean, Chaos Nova is definitely a good thing. Like, that's why um, OTK Demon Hunter is a good deck, too. OTK Demon Hunter counters Token Druid. Like, Moar Gardificer plus uh, Immolation Aura. It's an easy way of dealing with it. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Countered! Oh, man. Do I Zai here or do I just coin the skull? It's probably just coin the skull, right? Yeah, I think it's just always coin the skull here. Probably get some zero cost stuff. Yeah. Oh, I have to punch this though. <laughs> this guy's got to get out of control. Next turn. Ooh, next turn we can play a uh, Imprisoned Anteon. Plus the Beastmaster, which pulls the uh, Ectoplasm. Okay, okay. I mean, yeah, they're probably just gonna like milk as much value, value from this Grand Totem Eyesore as possible here. Ugh, that's disgusting. 
That is filthy. I think it's still just the, the Antean. Just get this guy down. I can clear the eyesore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there we go. We finally dealt with the eyesore. Whew, that was a lot of value. Um, so this is going to pull either, what, the Performer or the Ectoplasm. Yeah, I mean, I still might be able to go with Zai and copy this uh, Inquisitor. I mean, we're almost at full health here, so we're doing fine. Yo, Noodle! What's up, Noodle? It's happening, it's happening, I know! We're doing it, we're doing the ante and stuff. The build your own Cthune. Oh! Do I, do I, do I ever Zai copy both the Blackthorn and the Inquisitor? I think I do it. Cause like this dude wakes up next turn, which is gonna clear the board and then, okay, yeah, we, we gotta go for it. We just gotta go for it. Okay, we'll see what this pulls. Maybe the Renown Performer. Okay, or not. Give me a rush or not. Okay, I mean, yeah, we got some stats on the board. They only have four damage on the board, too, so I'm not really too afraid. Then we go Blackthorn into Blackthorn. <laughs> okay, are they Doomhammer? They are not. The perfect Xi, one might say. It is incredible. <laughs> but I'm... <laughs> Man, you guys are punny today. I love it. Ooh, misplay. Yeah, always hit with the weapon first before you play any new minions. You will regret imprisoning me. All right, come on, Antean. Do your thing. Blackthorn, maybe pull some taunts or something. Who, dude? Wait, we don't even, we don't even have enough de uh, death rattles in the deck for this Blackthorn. Well, all right. <laughs> All right, we got him. We got him. Let's go. Let's go. We had two uh, Inquisitors, so that was still worth the Zai. Woo, let's go, baby. All right, wow, good hand, good hand. Got the two, three. Oh, we got the one, two, three. Here we go. Here we go. How was your 4th of July, by the way? It was good, it was good. I didn't like do anything special. Um, I sat at home, relaxed a little bit, made a YouTube video, kind of did what I always do. <laughs> yeah, nothing too crazy. Um, so I'm gonna Dungar on three. We can save the weapon swing here. Is it play like a Blood Mage Thalmos or something? Okay, pulls my Ectoplasm. Do we take the damage on the Dungar if we played on turn three? I think we do it. Oh, guys, guys is happening. It's happening. Okay, so we play the Dungar on three, the Antian on six. So on turn eight, they wake up together for 22 damage. Ooh, it's happening. Everybody start panicking. Okay, probably a bump bump. As long as we don't get the tail end, everything else is playable. Just don't get tail in here. Huh? Uh, might even still be the Fell Screamer. Like, it's just more stats. But yeah, I want this on... I want to play this on turn six. So that way it wakes up on the Dungar turn. Okay, deck of lunacy. All right, good. Slow turn. Good, good, good. Okay, so I can't, um...
can't flame strike us yet. Here he comes, here he comes. Are you ready? My body is ready. Have they? I don't think they have uh, flowed yet too, right? Have they? I don't think so, yeah, yeah. So they haven't flowed yet, which means that they don't have access to Librem of Hope, which is good. I, I don't think... Fortitude, that's fine, I guess. I mean, it sucks, but I guess it's fine. Okay. I don't know that anything's possible with Deck of Lunacy. Oh, man. Anything is possible. Oh, the Inquisitor, though. Oh, I have to play this, though. I have to. Oh, this pains me to do it. But I gotta. I gotta do it. Like, they might be afraid of dying here, so they might trade. All right, two turns. Two turns. That's all we gotta live. We can just live for two turns. Uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, no taunt at least. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We're gonna skull here. Give me some playable stuff here. Just some playable stuff. Any playable stuff. Okay, that's playable. That's not playable. Um, I-beam, I guess? I just want to live, you know? I want to live for a turn. Nothing playable? Okay. Nothing playable. Maybe Stelina here. I don't want to punch this in the face. That's a lot of damage that I'd take. Okay, so we have 22 damage coming at him next turn. Let's go. <laughs> They're at what, 19? So they need to play some minions. Just live, yeah, just live. So they need to do 17 damage in one turn. Can they do it? They also need to play like two health, three health worth of minions. Yo, what's up, Skeptic? How you doing, how you doing? Okay, so they're drawing mana, okay. Okay, oh, that's good though. That's good for our OTK. So they're at 17. They're at, okay. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. Do they live? We might still get them though, we might still get them. Come on, 13 damage, 13 damage, go face. Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Ah, oh, so close! Oh wait, wait, does this do it? Can we have lethal here with the Kurtz Kills this, kills this. Give me a couple rushers. We got one rusher? Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh no! We're so close! Alright, I guess we do this then. Oh man, yeah, Fell Rattler, right. Fell Rattler, another renowned performer would have done it. Oh man, so close! I mean, I don't think they win from here though, do they? But I mean, we do have like Inquisitor, even if they get like a, some kind of a board clear, I don't know. We do have Inquisitor next turn. I don't think there's any way they survive, right? Yeah, okay, Twisting, that's fine. We still have our Inquisitor. We still have our hero power. Yeah, got him, let's go. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh, we got the Dungar! Ooh! We got the Dung! 
Um, let's see here. I kind of like the performer just because it's rush. It's good against token. Okay. All right. We got the dung. Easy game. Easy life. Fortunately, we're not really doing anything for the first two turns, but that's fine. That's okay. Do we ever go for the deal 12 damage? Uh... <laughs> Um, we might be dead by then, especially if they're token druid. Oh, we got it though. We gotta go for the five damage, especially because we have the ant in hand. Oh my gosh, yes, 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 we're definitely doing that. If we can get the ant in and the dungar to wake up on the same turn. Turn eight. We're doing it, guys. We're going to the Plague Lands. The Shaman hero power is insane with the reg. Oh, I know, right? Makes you actually want to press your hero power in Shaman. <laughs> um, Let's see, let's see. Let's play on curve here. We can go like what, Beastmaster into a Sigil here. Because on turn eight, I want the Dungar and the Antan to wake up at the same time. Hopefully they don't have uh, clowns by then. They might, based on how they're ramping, like wild growth into overgrowth. It's kind of scary stuff. Like, they could very well just bloom out a uh, survival right now. And then bloom like a clowns or something next turn. Okay. Oh, is it a... I wonder if this is Jambre Owl Druid. I think we have a better chance against the Owl Druid than we do against like clowns. So I would be okay with that. Okay, so this pulls my Fell Rattler. Okay, maybe I want a Skull here. Nah, we always get this down. We always get this down. All right, guys. Two turns. Two turns. Miracle alignment. I guess it could be, right? Or maybe they're playing survival. No. Okay. Well, they're gonna. They could coin a clown's next turn. Oh gosh! Don't do it. Don't do it. Come on. We have the wombo combo. <laughs> Don't do me dirty like that, man. Don't do me dirty. Yeah, hopefully they don't coin a clowns. Actually, wait, wait. They don't even need to coin a clowns, right? Yeah, they just... Straight up uh, survival there. No! Oh no! <laughs> Come on, man! Ah! Uh... Man, this druid's just a party pooper. <laughs> no damage one face. Wow, that did a whole lot of nothing. Do we lose? Hmm. Maybe it is just glide. I don't know. I don't even know. Zai? What? Well, copy these razor bores? I mean. Yeah, I don't know. I think we just lose, right? <laughs> okay, whatever. Man, we set this up perfectly. Didn't even matter. We could potentially put in, instead of like two Fell Screamers, we could put in um, an I Beam instead of uh, another Fell Screamer. Because I think the, the Fell Screamers are kind of... I mean, we only have, what, three Demons in the deck, right? But two Fell Screamers, so we probably don't need them.
Yeah, we don't need the skull. Let's look for some death rattles here. Okay, Razor Boar pulls the Beastmaster, which pulls... something. Like Death Speaker on seven or something. Yeah, okay. Put an explosive sheep in my Death Rattle Demon Hunter. Okay, that's spicy. That's spicy. That is definitely some board clear. There we go. Let's hope for another Death Rattle minion here. Okay, when that wakes up, they get a huge font or uh They get a massive cram session. Yep, yep, yep. Unfortunate. So Tyrion on five, Skull on six. Ooh, that is a big shooting star. Holy guacamole. Holy guacamole. Oh, we're ripping that one. Give me something playable. I guess that's kind of playable. We're at full health though, so I guess we don't need to... Yeah, maybe we could have held on that, onto that. But I guess if they sink damage into this and they're not sinking damage to my face, that's kind of like healing. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I guess that's, yeah, that's four damage that would have gone to my face anyways, so. I'm all right with that. So we don't really have many rushers in the deck, and I do kind of need to kill this <laughs> Phoenix. <laughs> so... Hmm, I don't even know if I Blackthorn. I guess I could get, what, some Fell Rattlers? Yeah, I'm probably... There we go. So this pulls my Ectoplasm, cool, cool, cool. I do want to get this Talon out of the way because my Inquisitors do cost, what, four mana now? I can easily get an Inquisitor down. Uh. Yeah, we still come up with something, let's go. Oh, the Dungar! The Dung, the Dung Master. They do have a lot of burn. I could use them for healing later on. Okay, yeah, we'll save them for healing later on. We might need it. Like, either we're going to kill them or they're going to kill us by uh, the next few turns, probably. This also gets me an Illidar Inquisitor, which costs four mana. Yeah. <laughs> Don't make me say it. Do it. Do it. Say it, Zach. Say it. All right. Probably just rip that. Almost everything is playable here. Oh, dude. Yeah, yeah. The Antean. Holy cow. That's so cheap. Do I just play the Antean here? I kind of want to. Like, I can play an Inquisitor next turn anyways. We have enough mana for it. Hey, nice Mask of Cthulhu. I got a Mask of Cthulhu coming too. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock. K 
Okay, there's their Mask of Cthulhu. Yeah, yeah. Got him. Yeah, Illidor Inquisitor seems pretty good here. Another Antian? Um, no, it has to be this, though. Like, when the uh, Antian wakes up, we just need two shots to go face. Just two shots. They don't really have that many minions in the deck, so it's pretty likely. Mask of Cthulhu on a 10-6 stick. Oh, exactly. My Mask of Cthulhu is better. No, they didn't even let me do it. <laughs> All right, still got him. <laughs> 